Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on this Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This colour is in Warm Bisque. Normally I get ivory, so when I bought it they didn't have ivory or porcelain, which are the two that I normally get. They just had this colour and it did look pretty light in the bottle, so I thought I'd chance it and buy it. Um, I've heard quite good reviews about this foundation and as I say it's a Superstay 24 hour foundation by Maybelline. Um, it does say on the bottle that it's non-transferable, that it won't rub off and that it's breathable and comfortable. So yeah I'm interested in seeing how that goes. I've primed half my face and I've left half my face unprimed just to see what the difference would be um, and I'm also going to be using the um, this sponge is just by Primark but what interested me the most about this is it looks like it's a dupe for the Miracle Sponge by Real Techniques so I thought since I love that sponge so much I thought I'd, I'd try this out as well on camera and, and see what that's like. Um, so yes I will be trying these two out for you. I'm just going to turn my hair back now with a bobby pin so get that out of the way and then get some foundation and I'll be putting dots all over my face I've never actually done a foundation review on camera before so hopefully it won't go too bad. I'm going to zoom you in in a minute. Now I've got quite a lot of reviews planned. Some um, by Colourpop actually. I love Colourpop at the moment. Um, I, I got that basically one of my blogger friends said you should try Colourpop. They are so good. The eyeshadows are so pigmented and she wasn't wrong. Let me come to you. Now straight off the bat this miracle sponge it's not even a miracle sponge but this Primark sponge is nowhere near as good as um, the miracle sponge by Real Techniques just not happy with it at all glad I didn't get more of them but there is going to be a difference there is a huge difference in price this one was £1.50 whereas the um, Miracle Sponges, I think £5.99 but they are worth it because they do last quite a while and I think at the moment you can get two in the pack for a tenner I'm just taking that onto my eyelid Now I'm going into the primed side of my face just to see if there's any difference and the primer that I'm using at the moment is really really good. That was a recommendation by Shan XR. Um, I don't know if you watch her but she's a she's a big YouTuber on here um, <clears throat> and it's the One Step Stealer Corrector. Um, really really good I really really like it I just feel like most of it's going on there and not on me first maybe it's the lighting I don't know normally I have to go in with two coats anyway so I'll see what that looks like in a minute Take it down to my neck.
So that's the colour I found, as you, you can see it blends in really nicely with, with my neck. So it is the right colour for me. Which is strange. The ivory colour and because I saw it like the next day in boots, the ivory and the porcelain colour looked way darker than the warm base. Now normally that's the other way around. Um, I found that to be quite strange. Ivory is normally the lightest colour that any foundation group do. Um, but yeah, that one looks fine. I'm just going to cover some areas where I think need extra coverage. Right, that should do it. I'll be sticking to my um, Real Technique sponge from now on I think. I just wanted to give this a try on camera and just let you know my personal thoughts. If you have tried this sponge, what do you think of it? Have you compared it to the Real Techniques ones? Um, do you think it's better, worse? I'd love to know. If you leave your thoughts down in the box, in the comments box. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on it. God, I feel so exhausted. Drained. It's been a busy week. Right, so that is the foundation on. I'm looking awfully white on camera. I just need to obviously warm the face up now with other products. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back. Um, there's a few other products that I would like to show you that are fairly new purchases um, and just show you them. Um, so yeah. I'll be doing that as well in this video and um Hi, so this is just an update for the foundation. Um, so now the foundation has been on for well over two hours. I just thought I'd check back. Now I can't really see any difference to the foundation in general. Feels very light on my face. Um, there's no transfer as it's stated I can't see anything um, so that's really really good um, so yeah I think it's a really good foundation for when you're going to be out for long periods of time like for instance when you go out for a night out um, so it will stay there now there's no way of testing it for 24 hours unless I put it on really early and then go to bed and wake up with it the next day which I'm not going to do um, because it's not good for your skin to wear makeup in bed and also not good for your bedding so yes um, I'm really really impressed with this foundation so far I'll be checking in I'll be doing two more updates I think over the next few hours um, I can't really notice that much a difference between the prime side and the non-primed but maybe over the next few hours I'll notice more of a difference as it has only been about two hours um, so I'll check back in another few hours and I'll tell you what I think okay bye for now hi guys welcome back so this is the final check-in of the foundation um, which I'm wearing which is the Maybelline 
Super Stay 24 Hour Foundation. Now I'm really loving this foundation so far. It is only the first time of me wearing it, but I have had it on eight hours. And normally after the eight hour mark, well, after normally after about five hours, it becomes cakey here, cakey around the nose area, and I, I'm I'm looking all oily around the T zone. So let me just sit forward, and you can see there's no oiliness here. Um, there's no cakiness around the nose area, and it's not cakey. There's no cakey build up here. The only thing that needs topping up is my lipstick and even that I've had on for about 7 hours. Um, the foundation's been on for about 8 hours um, but the lipstick's only been on for about 7 I would say um, and I've been eating throughout the day and that's held up pretty well but that's obviously a different um, video we're talking about this today. I would recommend this to anyone who wants to try a high coverage foundation. Normally I would use this one which is also a high coverage foundation and claims to last 24 hours. I can't really test this one out. As I was saying in the earlier video, the only way of me testing it out is to pretty much get up, get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and then um, make it last till six o'clock the next morning or, or something like that and I'm not gonna go to bed with foundation on my skin it's bad for the skin bad for the pores and obviously it's not great for your bedding either um, that's the last thing that I want so yeah I'm really impressed with it I've got eight hours eight hours out of it I'm ready for bed now so well not ready for bed, I'm ready um, for going to bed so I'm going to tell you about what my final thoughts are on it which I've already pretty much told you there's no oiliness, I've not had to powder um, which I would normally have to do using this foundation because I do tend to get oily here um, and on my T-zone so oily around here so, so I'd just go in and powder and it would be fine and um, I've not had to do that with this one so obviously this one knocks that one out of the ballpark really um, really impressed with it and I think if, if you're looking for a high coverage foundation I think maybe you know you should try this one um, because this is only $7.99 at the moment at Superdrugs which I think is very very affordable um, I've not been sponsored or even been given this um, I've had to go out and purchase it with my own money um, which I'm glad I did so yeah um, that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video bye for now